The most used search engine globally is Google, with a staggering market share above 90%, leading to a common perception that it's the best. Well, that may not be true for everyone in every situation, so if you're dissatisfied with Google's search results, looking for more privacy, have specific search needs, or just want additional features, we'll show you more than 20 alternatives that just may give you a much improved overall search experience than using Google. Let's get started. Let's start out with three well-known competitors of Google most of you have heard of. First of which is Bing from Microsoft. In a distant second, its market share worldwide is around 3% and does a little bit better here in the States with around 6% of all search traffic. When doing a search, the layout is very similar to Google, but with more details about the subject that you're searching for. Also while searching on Bing, you accumulate points that can be redeemed in the Microsoft Rewards program for gift cards and other stuff. On the downside, Bing does collect a ton of data on its users for ad targeting purposes, so it's not best for those of you that are privacy focused. But if you don't care about privacy, Bing is a good alternative to try out. Speaking of privacy, DuckDuckGo is the most well-known search engine focused on privacy. It uses various sources for its results, including Bing. They make all sorts of claims, including that they don't collect or share any of your personal information, they don't store your search history and sell your data to advertisers. They also claim to not track your searches. That may be all well and good, but their relationship with Microsoft earlier this year caused quite a bit of controversy. DuckDuckGo has made the claim that they promised to block hidden third-party trackers. Security researchers discovered this claim was not 100% true when they found out Microsoft trackers were still being allowed to operate. After receiving a ton of backlash, DuckDuckGo announced that they would begin to block Microsoft's trackers, which everyone had thought they were already doing in the first place. So if you want a search engine with better privacy and transparency than DuckDuckGo, I'll give you other choices coming up later. Many years ago, some of you might remember that Yahoo is one of the biggest tech companies. Now it's just a sad and pathetic shell of its former self. At one time, they had the most popular search engine. Their market share now hovers around 1% globally. When you look at their search results, you will notice similarities to Bing, and for good reason. Yahoo uses Microsoft Bing to power its search results. So if you already use Bing, there's no compelling reason to switch. We'll now take a look at six search engines that are privacy focused. Some of you may already be familiar with or heard us discuss the privacy focused Brave web browser. They now have their very own search engine that does not track you or your searches and does not collect your location data. And to remember certain preferences, it only uses anonymous cookies. Best of all, it's completely independent from Google and Bing. When you do a search with Brave, it's quick and has a clean and fantastic looking layout without any clutter. I especially like their dark theme. To change their theme, click the settings icon in the upper right. You could choose your system theme, light, which looks great as well, but it's a little bright, or you could choose dark. This one's great for those of you with sensitive eyes. StartPage is a search engine that's been around for many years and claims to be the world's most private search engine. Just like Brave Search, it's a good alternative to those of you that have lost trust in DuckDuckGo. It uses Google's search results without the collecting of your personal data. They have a strict no logs policy that does not store your IP address so they don't know who you are. And it also blocks third-party trackers preventing targeted ads. On the Start Page Search Results page, you can change the various settings by clicking on the Settings icon here at the top. If you scroll down to Appearance, you can even change the theme. You have five to choose from, System Default, Light, Dark, Air, and Night. Staying in the privacy category, Peekier claims to be the most privacy-oriented search engine. It does not track your activity, log your personal data, and gives unfiltered search results powered by Bing. Instead of listing results from top to bottom, they show you preview cards. Clicking on a card increases and decreases the image. Clicking the menu icon in the upper right lets you change the layout density. And below that, there are several other settings that you can change. Because this is a family-friendly channel, I have to be careful how I pronounce this one, Quant is a privacy-focused search engine based in France. They claim that there is zero tracking of your searches, that they don't sell your personal information, and there is no tracking for advertising purposes. Quant utilizes Microsoft Bing for its search results. 
Mojik is one I just learned about recently. Based in the UK, not only is it focused on privacy, they also claim to be unbiased and independent. To be completely independent from Google or Bing, they've created their own web crawler that indexes the web in-house and uses their very own ranking algorithms. For those of you that have complained lately about the results pages on Bing or Google, you should check this one out. Upon doing a search with Mojik, the results page has a clean layout with less clutter than most of its competitors. The last and least in the privacy-focused category is OneSearch from the folks at Yahoo. Released a couple years ago when Yahoo was part of Verizon Media, it's laughable that a company that had massive data breaches that weren't disclosed for years later would release a privacy-focused product and think it would be trusted by the public. They claim that they don't track you or your personal data, that there are no cookies, and the search results are unfiltered. If you're someone that actually trusts Yahoo and want to check out OneSearch, go for it. All search results are powered by Bing. Switching gears, Ecosia is the first of two search engines that use portion of their profits for a particular cause. Founded in 2009, Ecosia uses the revenue generated to plant trees. So far, more than 164 million trees have been planted. The search engine used is a modified version of Bing with a clean and easy to read layout. The theme can be changed by clicking on settings here at the top. Your choices are system, light, and dark. Give Water, another search engine with a cause, was formed to help fix the issue of poor water quality around the world. Profits generated from paid search ads are distributed to their charitable partners who in turn provide clean water and sanitation. Just like Ecosia, the search results on Give Water are powered by Bing. The next two are family-friendly options, first of which is Swiss Cows. As you would guess by the name, it's based in Switzerland, which is known to have some of the strictest privacy laws of any country. They claim to never collect, store, or track your data. It's also family friendly with a built-in filter that blocks pornographic and other explicit content that can't be overwritten. While Swiss Cows claims to use their own search index, which is good, ads on the other hand are from Microsoft, which does collect your data. Clicking the menu icon in the upper right lets you change the language, region, and theme. As we all know, the internet is not a safe place for young children. Kittle is a customized version of Google using Google Safe Search to show sites and pages that are age appropriate. The search results page is kid friendly with large thumbnails, images, and fonts. So if you're trying to keep your children away from dangerous content on the internet, Kittle is what I'd recommend. One of the most interesting of all mentions so far is Neva. Many people accuse the most popular search engines of being biased when returning search results. This new search engine claims to not have any bias and includes a ton of features that might be appealing to you. It was created by former executives at Google who wanted to create a Google-like experience that's 100% ad-free. It's also great for privacy, it blocks trackers that follow you across the web, and they claim to never sell or share your data with anyone. The search results page has a nice clean layout, the theme can be changed by clicking settings here in the upper right, clicking the drop down arrow, and your choices are auto, dark, and light. It can be used with any web browser and even has apps available for both iOS and Android. Neva does have a free plan that lets you try it out with limited features, including a limit of 50 ad-free searches per month. Because they're ad-free, not treating you as the product, they do have to charge a fee to have full unlimited use of all their features. Their premium monthly plan is $5.99 per month, or if you pay annually, it's around $50 per year. The remaining search engines are more specialized than those already mentioned, so we'll go through these quickly. Openverse, formerly known as CC Search, is an open source search engine from the folks at WordPress to find free stock photos, images, and audio to use in your projects. SlideShare is a hosting service that lets you search for professional content, including presentations, infographics, documents, and videos uploaded by users. Just Watch lets you search the various streaming platforms like Netflix, Prime Video, Disney+, and the myriad of others all at once to find out where to watch the TV show or movie that you're looking for. Wolfram Alpha is one of our favorites we've mentioned quite a bit over the years. Unlike the typical search engines returning links, this computational knowledge engine simply returns answers on a variety of subjects from solving math problems to pop culture. If you're a developer that sometimes needs open source code for your projects, 
Search Code is a website that you should have bookmarked. Covering more than 200 programming languages, it lets you search from various sources at once for source code that you can freely use in your projects. The Internet Archive is an oldie but goodie we've mentioned before. This nonprofit lets you easily search for free books, music, software, movies, video games, and a whole lot more with millions to choose from in their library. Board Reader is a search engine that pulls in results from online communities, including message boards and forums. Instead of getting results based on a search engine's algorithm, Board Reader helps to connect you to places online to gather opinions, thoughts, or even get real solutions to problems on a particular subject that you may not find using a search engine like Google. Webopedia is an online information technology and computer science reference for IT professionals, students, and educators to get easy to understand definitions for thousands of technology terms and acronyms. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Which search engine is your favorite? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest tech alternative videos and other tech related stuff right here on Tech Umbo.